square. Thank you, Mr. Welcome to the media conference at uh, head coach, Jerry Sviane, and our player, Kevin Mbabu. Uh, please, uh, please put your questions now in English or German. Um, the simultaneous interpretation is available. Wer macht den Start? Who's going to kick off? Uh, this might be a bit of a strange question, but the last few Champions League matches, Man United, they've struggled to get to the ground. Uh, Juventus were quite late to the ground when they played here. Have you guys looked at the logistics and the, the issues that you could face? Because obviously this is a big game for you guys as well. J'ai rien compris. Il n'a parlé de I didn't understand everything. Yeah, sorry. please a little bit louder the next time. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, we are not reflecting what Man Manchester United did against Juventus and Valencia. We played against them. We know how strong they can be. We know that tomorrow we're going to need, a, from our side, a big performance, grow over our limits and that Manchester United should not have the best day uh, so we can have a chance. Please, some micro. Sorry, I think you misunderstood my colleague's question, which was about the coach getting from the hotel to the stadium. Oh, the coach. Oh, I can push him. What was the question? The first, yeah. the first game uh, this in, against Valencia, Manchester United were fined because they arrived late because oh. of all the traffic. Oh, okay. The second game, Mourinho had to walk to the stadium. Well, I, because I, of all I have the enough trouble with to to build the team who plays tomorrow. <laughs> I think the the way from the hotel to the stadium is not my business. <laughs> but you sh you've not made any contingency plans because the traffic is bad. This is not my business. <laughs> yes. Ja, Jerry, uh, du musst morgen Jerry, ohne zwei Lied rauskommen. Yeah, you uh, Guillaume Maro is verletzt. Guillaume Maro is less. And Sanogo is uh, suspended. Uh, how can you react to the, losing these two players? Well, definitely uh, be missing the physical presence of the two players, and that's important to us. But we've always stressed we have the quality in the squad and a balanced squad. And Champagne and, and Samme uh, had the physical, he has the physical and the playing quality, and so he can replace Guillaume. Uh, and we'll play in a s s formation that will take, take a count of thoughts on that and possibly play in a different way. I'm not 100% uh, sure how we'll play yet. No, I don't want to say. Kevin, what do you expect? <laughs> um, I expect, um, well, uh, a big, uh, a big, a big game tomorrow. Um, it's going to be a little bit uh, special for for us to play in the in this big, big stadium. But that that shouldn't um, affect uh, our way of of playing, our way of of how we will come on the game. And I think we if we if we do as a. As as the plan will be, um, we can do we can do something tomorrow. But as long as we we don't make any any mistake like our first, our first games, and um, the, the key tomorrow will be to be to be efficient. 
Yes, next question. Kevin, you, you started the match well in Bern, and then United eventually obviously made their quality count. What can you change this time to, to get a result? And on a personal level, you've you've kicked on a lot since returning to Switzerland. Do you feel you can show the English crowds what your true ability is after the, the way things ended at, at Newcastle? Um, yeah, as I said, um, uh, we started really, really, really good the first 30 minutes against Man United, but uh, we had a we had a lack of efficiency. Uh, we had a few chances and uh, we didn't score. In you know at this level, when you don't score after one two chances, the opponent don't need too many chances to score a goal. And um, on my personal side, um, you know I will, I will need to, the team to to put me in good position to to help the team and. To try to, to help the team to score goals and to put, to give troubles to Man United. Next frage, next question. Question to Kevin. You played three years ago uh, in the, the Premier League. Um, you played in big stadiums like this one. Is uh, still impressive uh, to, to play here now in Old Trafford? Um, it's it's only impressing. Um, I think be, before the game, but like when, when you when you get into the game, when you focus on your job, it's it's um, it's. It, I think you don't really feel what what's happening unless you you switch off and you look around you. But I think when you when you're playing, you don't really think and about how many people are in the stadium. Yes. It's a strange Mike. question to ask, but Manchester United have, have struggled at Old Trafford. They've got their best results and performances away from home. Chelsea, Juventus. Have you got more of a chance, do you think, playing here at the moment against Manchester United? I don't think so. I think uh, this is just uh, something not usual with these results, but I think Manchester United is strong at home, as uh, for sure also... Uh, they want to show to, to their crowd that they they are strong also at home. Uh, this stadium has a big tradition. Uh, Manchester United always was the Red Devils at home, so we expect uh, a very difficult game, and I'm sure Manchester United going to continue their way also at home. And were there elements in that game back in Bern that gave you confidence ahead of this game? Because you know, for half an hour they couldn't control the pace that you came at them with, and and, and, and the fact that obviously you knew your own pitch. Well, the team uh, did uh, now with these uh, first four games uh, experiences in Champions League. Uh, we hope to, to improve our uh, our game, that uh, we have some lessons that we learned. We cannot uh, start the game 30 minutes uh, too strong and then uh, go down with our performance. It's, uh, it's, difficult. it's important to keep the, the performance over 90 minutes, don't concede uh, easy errors. I think the team uh, learned from these games and there's going to be a different game tomorrow than in Bern. Yep. What's the position with the Squad at the moment. Jean, Jean is similar to Guillaume in terms of playing the box and he can keep possession well. Well, I uh, went to what happens in the, in the training session and so, so it's likely that Pierre will start the game tomorrow with Guillaume being injured on Saturday. Any more questions? No. Thank you very much. Training begins at uh, 6 o'clock and is open to the media for the first 15 minutes. Thank you. Have a good evening.